that I wanted you to try with your student, with your child, with the cutout shape. So how did I get this? Well, let me show you how I started it. Okay, so we're going to take this away. <clears throat> and we'll start from the beginning. Okay. What I did was I took a piece of thicker paper and I cut out a shape. I folded the paper in half. I cut a heart shape out. I put a little piece of tape behind it so that it will stay in place. And then I took a plain piece of paper. Okay, and I'm going to fold it in half. So it's in the shape of a card. All right. Now that I know a couple of things from the first time, I'll put it this way so you can see it a little bit better. Let me tilt that down just a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to put the heart underneath. Hopefully about in the middle somewhere. To design so it don't have to be perfect <laughs> and I think this time I'm going to use the light blue all right and what you're going to do is then you take have your child take the crayon and rub around the edge oh that's a much better choice this time so you get the outline of the shape I thank my niece Shayana for the artwork that I saved all these years to give me this idea for you. <laughs> to work as an idea for the student, your child. Oh, this is looking beautiful. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that looks fantastic. Don't you love that? I hope this is recording well. Oh my goodness, this is my first time trying this. <laughs> I'll tell you, one positive thing from this situation is we're getting to explore things we've never done before, right? Isn't this exciting? Okay. And then you can, let me put a little pink on there in honor of my niece. That's one of her favorite colors. Put a little pink in there, in the center of the heart. Then we're gonna put some pink on the outside. I'm going to let this be a thank you card to somebody that did something for me. And I'm going to mail it to them. They gave me a gift and I'm going to send this to them as a thank you card. Because as I told you, I had two knee operations. So my quarantine kind of started in December. <laughs> So that's why I can tell you, I have sympathy, people, and understand what you're going through. I've been kind of in the house since December from my first knee operation in the hospital. Then I came home for a few weeks. Then I had to go back for the second one on January 28th. Then I was in the hospital and rehab. And then I thought, oh! I'm going to get freedom and get to go back to subbing and being in the classroom with the students. And then this craziness happened. So now I deal with just having to be in the house, sharing some great ideas with you guys. Okay. And so now there goes my card and then I'm going to take my shape out. And I'm going to use that stencil to make more cards to send to friends. Okay. But you know what? If you want, you can kind of do a double image. Let me just try something for a second. You know, if you want, you can use a double image. I don't know. Should I mess this up and be creative? Nah, I'm not going to mess it up. We can do another one later. Because you can do a double image sometimes and rub it twice. I like this one like this. But that's it. Okay. So that's an idea that you can use with um, an activity for the students to create a card for a friend or to send to a relative or maybe to a senior citizen or anything, some activity. You can cut out any kind of shape 
rub it with a crayon and then you can write some words on the outside so i hope you will enjoy that parents and students and children have fun and you can do that with any age all right have a blessed day bye bye